So uh, now let's move into some of the services that a QSA company provides to a merchant that needs to stay in compliance, right? So some of the services that we provide, uh, first one is pre-assessment consultation. So pre-assessment uh, consultation involves, uh, you know, coordinating with the company and doing a quick assessment on where they at. So uh, where they are uh, in terms of uh, PCI DSA. So we are not going to do a full-blown uh, assessment, but at least for that, like interviewing uh, some of the players who will be involved in the assessment, and also, you know. Uh, probably maybe doing one side visits and taking a look at what they have in terms of uh, infrastructure and you know looking at their data flow uh, diagram for their card uh, holder data will all will all be part of what we will do for the pre uh, assessment consultation right so the pre assessment consultation will help the organization to really uh, quickly uh, identify some of the areas that they need to uh, polish upon uh, before a natural assessment uh, begins. So mostly uh, this, if we are contracted to do a PCI DSS uh, assessment for a company, the first thing we will do will be a pre-assessment consultation, right? Or if we are not the ones going to do the assessment, somebody else or a different company is going to do the assessment, we can still do a pre-assessment uh, consultation for them to help them, you know, uh, become ready for the assessment that they are going to go through, right? The next service that we offer or QSA companies or PCI companies uh, offer is what we call PCI DSS gap analysis. So gap analysis is not, you know, a special to like, it's not special to only PCI DSS. Uh, it is done cybersecurity wide for different frameworks for just, you know, uh, as a way to assess where you are and where you want to go, right? Or where you want to get to. So with PCI DSS, uh, gap analysis is done by first uh, doing a quick assessment on where the organization is at at the point of uh, at the time of the assessment or uh, at, at the time of the quick uh, assessment and where they need to be is to meet all the 12 requirements and their sub requirements under the PCI DSS standard right so gap analysis Mostly it is not done by the company doing the assessment or the audits. GAB analysis will be done by a different QSA company, right? And for, uh, uh, for our PCI DSS uh, students and people who want to get into PCI DSS as uh, like businessmen or you know, as uh, private or independent contractors, you can also do GAB analysis. It doesn't have to be a QSA company, right? Uh, so if you know what you're doing, probably you've worked with a QSA company before, or you've worked within the PCI DSS industry for a while, you can do a GAP analysis, right? Because at the end of, after like uh, GAP analysis, like the results is not going to be, uh, you don't need like a QSA to stamp it for anything, right? So uh, anybody who wants to make this a career and go, you know, uh, do an independent uh, consultant, these are some of the things that you can do as an independent uh, consultant, right? So GAP analysis, we are identifying where they are right now and then uh, comparing that to their destination is going to be meeting all the 12 uh, requirements. So uh, GAP analysis is pretty, uh, it might sound very simple and straightforward, but it involves a lot of work. And it also depends on the organization. If they are all, all over the place and they are not doing everything, you know, just like right, uh, it's going to take like a lot of, uh, time, but that is always good for a QSA company like us. The more time it takes, the more money we make. So if you're not doing your stuff well, well, I mean, you're going to pay for it <laughs> in cash, uh, not in kind, right? So, but organizations that are well structured, you know, audits go really smooth, even gap analysis, very smooth. Uh, but organizations that go like you ask for network diagrams and they are scratching their head. And I think uh, maybe John has it. Uh, no, let's ask. <laughs> Such organizations is, you know, really tough on us because, I mean, uh, they are taking time and you have to be patient with a lot of stuff, uh, but still it's going to take longer. So they have to, you know, cough up the money. So anyways, well, you can choose to be well organized and pay less or, you know, uh, just do anything, things anyhow, and uh, 
pay more money to whoever is doing your GAP analysis or doing your actual assessment. So another, uh, another service that we provide, which is uh, pretty much like the, like the main service uh, for a QSA company uh, is performing PCI DSS assessment. And after the assessment, the organization will receive a report on compliance that is ROC from us and also attestation of compliance. And this is what the organization is going to submit to their acquirer uh, or their bank that they are working with and the bank is going to submit it to uh, the card brands right so american express discover and those people to let them know that hey this company a that is working with me they are in compliance you know so that then and you know like uh so uh, like the card brands will sign them off and say hey you guys are good for the next 12 months right and also for me as an assessor or for arithmetic as a qsa company uh, we will submit this also on our portal with uh, PCI SSC, and we will uh, submit it for them to see that uh, this company is also uh, in compliance. But this can only be done by a QSA company, right? So if you are not a QSA company, you cannot perform an assessment. Well, I mean, you you could, but when you're done, where are you going to take it? PCI SSC, don't, <laughs> they doesn't like like they don't know you, right? So. You cannot submit it anywhere and you cannot they uh if the organization submits it like uh submits this to the uh, acquirer the acquirer also doesn't know you because they will bounce it off pci ssc right so uh it's only pc it's only qualified qsa companies who can perform uh pci dss assessment or audits and provide reports uh, on compliance and also attestation of uh, compliance, right? And the next service, uh, so out of the first two that I talked about, uh, I mean, companies or people who think uh, they have what it takes, they can do that, right? And we will talk more about this when we talk about like the business side and how you can make some money whilst you you are uh, uh, learning PCI, right? So, but another service is uh, assistance or uh, assisting companies to to do their self uh, assessment or uh, SAC. So, uh, SAC is a self assessment that organizations that are at level two to level four, they have to uh, do this to show their compliance, right? So, uh, companies that are level one will have to present their ROC or their AOC to show compliance. Companies that are level two and below will have to uh, provide SAC, which is a self-assessment that they will fill themselves or they can have a QSA company or anybody who is a PCI subject matter yeah. expert to fill that out for them, okay? Uh, because uh, if you don't know what you are doing, you're probably gonna fill it out wrong and say yes to things that are supposed to say no and stuff like that, right? So uh, if you are a PCI subject matter expert, you can help them fill this out, right? For a fee maybe charge them 500 bucks for 30 minutes, right? So, but I think on average, uh, it's around like 500 bucks for somebody to help you fill this out, right? And uh, PCI DSS remediation. So that is a big one. So let's say an organization went through an assessment and they failed, right? When they fail, the assessor is going to let them know which requirements they fail but he can't or she can't tell them what to do to fix it. Uh, anybody knows why? Because if you tell them what to do to fix it, you can't be the person who is coming back to do the audit on it, right? So that will be conflict of interest. So you can tell them, hey, this is, you don't have this, you don't have that, you don't have that. You know, uh, when you guys have it, let me know. We will come back and do a reassessment and give you a go or no go on it. So. If you tell them exactly what to do, okay, so buy this, put this there, use this software, and you come back and you are the one doing the audits, uh, I mean, that is like a, a, a bridge when it comes to uh, uh, integrity, right? Like, or a conflict of interest, rather, right? So when companies uh, fail an assessment, it has to be, uh, another like a different company or a different QSA company that is actually helping them to meet the requirements or do the remediation 
So what do we mean by remediation? Like whatever you feel, you know, somebody is helping you to uh, meet it, right? So if maybe they employ Arrhythmus uh, Inc., we'll come in there, see, you know, what they filled, and then we'll show them how to pass it. Now, uh, we can show them how to pass it all day because we are not the ones who are going to assess them or audit them uh, whenever they have those measures in place. Okay. So uh, the company that is doing your assessment cannot be the same company showing you what to, that will be conflict of interest. So remediation, PCI remediation is also big. Uh, it's one service that PCI uh, companies can provide. And then continuous monitoring, right? Uh, continuous monitoring. So companies uh, who are really serious about PCI, DSS, mostly they will have a QSA company. Uh, you know, they'll have a relationship with a QSA company that uh, helps them all year long to stay in compliance, right? They will be the ones monitoring their programs and you know, uh, getting in touch with whoever their liaison is, uh, making sure that continuously they are staying in compliance. Now that QSA company cannot be the same company that is coming around after 12 months to perform the assessment or the audit, because that will be conflict of interest, right? I can't be showing you what to do all year long and then I turn around and come and I'm going to be the uh, assessor. So if I'm the assessor, can I fail you on any, anything that you didn't meet? You know, I will be kind of obligated not to fail you because if I fail you, then it means I didn't teach you right or I didn't show you the right things for you guys to do. Right? So that is why PCI doesn't allow that. So uh, even if we are not your like we are not the company doing your audits, you have a company doing the audits already for you. We can still partner with you and make sure you know you are staying in compliance and you know uh, doing whatever you have to be doing uh, to uh, meet the PCI uh, DSS requirements. Okay. And another uh, service that we provide, which is also very big, is PCI DSS education and training. So why PCI DSS education and training. Uh, for every organization uh, that is taking PCI DSS seriously, like they should, uh, they should always, and uh, they should always have at least uh, maybe two to three uh, PCI DSS awareness training within the year. Now I say two to three because if that organization is a level one organization, one of the requirements of uh, one of uh, the sub uh, requirements under the 12 main requirements is that the organization has to prove that they conducted a PCI awareness training at least once within the year. So it is not a nice to have, uh, it is a must have, right? So if the minimum is once a year and you do three or four times in a year, you are helping your own you know, organization because the more aware people are uh, when it comes to uh, credit card and debit card fraud, and not just the fraud aspect, but handling credit card and debit card. Uh, if your tellers or like your, uh, like the people, I mean, everybody within your organization is aware of the sensitive nature of it and how to handle it. Sometimes people just don't know. Right. And I mean, you don't know what you don't know. So that is why it is important for us to conduct awareness training. Right. So uh, awareness training for the entire organization, but for the IT group, for everybody within IT, it has to be an education. Right. We have to have like a whole class going through the technical part of it and the technical aspect and how everybody, what everybody is doing, what is on uh, the PCI DSS uh, aspect or the handling of CAD information within the organization, right? But for everybody else within the organization, the general staff is gonna be an awareness training, but for your IT uh, staff is gonna be, you know, PCI, not just awareness, they need more than awareness. Uh, so it's gonna be some education on PCI DSS. And also uh, I will still narrow it down to your uh, cybersecurity crew. Your cybersecurity crew also have to uh, get some uh, education more in depth than even the whole IT team, right? Because PCI is a specialized area of cybersecurity. So all cybersecurity personnel should know enough about it to make sure that 
whatever they are doing within the organization, uh, they still have PCI at the back of their mind. If they want the organization to always stay uh, in compliance with PCI DSS. So now uh, the last service we talk about is advisory and consultancy. Uh, I think like uh, what we talked about, about the continuous uh, compliance. So organizations partner with a QSA company or a, consult a PCI consulting company. So a PCI consulting company doesn't have to be a QSA company or a PCI SSE uh, qualified QSA company. Anybody can be a, PS a PCI. PCI DSS uh, uh, consultant or PCI DSS, uh, you can run a PCI DSS company if you know what you're doing, right? Uh, the only thing you cannot do is do an assessment or uh, produce rock or a, 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 AOC, right? Everything else you can uh, work with an organization uh, on it, right? But that is if you know what you're doing, right? So uh, if you are uh, you have only one eye in PCI DSS. You shouldn't be leading anybody, right? You have to really have you know all eyes uh, ready to lead people the right way. So, uh, but that is just to you know have some just have that conversation going in your mind and knowing that like whatever journey or whichever route you are taking, this is always going to be an area that you can set set up shop uh, by yourself.